Hey there, my man. You know how sometimes you're in a relationship and things just feel off? Like maybe you're not the one in the driver's seat and you can't quite put your finger on it? Well, buckle up, because today we're going to talk about the top five signs that your girlfriend might be controlling you. Don't worry, I got your back and we'll make sure you don't let her control your life. You and I both know that relationships should be about love, support, and mutual understanding, right? But when things start to feel more like a dictatorship than a partnership, that's when you know you got to take a step back and assess the situation. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's dive into these five signs that'll help you figure out if your girlfriend is controlling you and how to regain your victory. All right, let's kick things off with sign number one. She constantly monitors your activities. Now, we all know that a little bit of curiosity about each other's lives is normal, but when it crosses the line into constant surveillance, that's when you know something's up. You might notice that she's overly interested in your daily schedule, asking about your plans every single day and expecting detailed explanations for even the most mundane tasks. But it doesn't stop there. Not only does she want to know about your plans, but she also keeps tabs on your whereabouts throughout the day. Maybe she texts or calls you non-stop, asking where you are, who you're with, and what you're doing. And if you don't respond right away or don't give her the updates she wants, well, be prepared for a barrage of questions, accusations, or even downright anger. That kind of behavior isn't just annoying, it's downright controlling. So what can you do to regain your independence and stop her from monitoring your every move? First things first, set some boundaries. Let her know that it's not healthy for her to know every single detail of your day and that you need some privacy. Be firm, but gentle. You don't want to make her feel attacked. And if she still doesn't back off, it might be time for a more serious conversation about trust and control in your relationship. Remember my brother? You deserve to be with someone who trusts you and gives you the freedom to live your life without feeling like you're under constant surveillance. Moving on to sign number two. She isolates you from friends and family. Healthy relationships involve a balance between spending time with your partner and maintaining your connections with your loved ones. But when your girlfriend starts discouraging you from hanging out with your friends and family, it's a major red flag. She might make subtle comments about them or even talk negatively about them to create distance between you and the people you care about. This kind of isolation goes beyond just wanting to spend more time together. It's about control. By cutting you off from your support system, she's making you more dependent on her and less likely to seek advice or help from others. She might even make you feel guilty for wanting to see your friends or family, accusing you of choosing them over her. It's not cool, and it's definitely not a sign of a healthy relationship. So, how can you regain your independence and re-establish connections with your loved ones? First, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and express your need to maintain these relationships. Remind her that having friends and family outside of your partnership is essential for your mental and emotional well-being. Schedule regular hangouts with your friends and family. And if possible, involve your girlfriend in some of these gatherings so she can see that they're an essential part of your life. If she still refuses to accept your need for connection with others, it might be time to reevaluate your relationship and consider whether it's truly worth sacrificing your support system for her. Remember, buddy, a loving partner should encourage you to have a well-rounded life, not keep you all to themselves. Now let's talk about sign number three. She makes all the decisions. In a healthy relationship, both partners should have an equal say in the choices that affect their lives. But if your girlfriend is the one calling all the shots, dictating what you do, where you go, and who you see, it's a clear sign that she's trying to control you. She might brush off your opinions and preferences, expecting you to just go along with whatever she chooses without any input from you. This kind of control can make you feel like you're losing your sense of self, and it's not fair to you. Relationships are supposed to be about teamwork and compromise, not one person dominating the other. If you find that your girlfriend is always deciding things for both of you, it's time to take a stand and let her know that you have a voice too and that your opinions matter just as much as hers do. So how can you regain your independence and have an equal say in your relationship? Start by expressing your thoughts and opinions more often. If your girlfriend suggests something you don't agree with or aren't comfortable with, speak up. Let her know how you feel 
and suggest an alternative that works for both of you. It's essential to be assertive, but also respectful, in these conversations. If she's unwilling to compromise or continues to disregard your feelings, it's time for a serious talk about the balance of power in your relationship. You deserve to be in a partnership where both of your voices are heard and valued equally. All right, let's dive into sign number four. She uses manipulation and accusation. Emotional manipulation is a sneaky way of gaining control over someone, and it can be challenging to recognize at first. Your girlfriend might make you feel responsible for her emotions, or blame you for her problems and dissatisfaction. She could use emotional blackmail to get her way, making you feel guilty or obligated to do what she wants. This kind of manipulation can make you doubt your own feelings and instincts, which is precisely what the controlling person wants. It's a way for them to maintain power over you and make you feel like you're always in the wrong. But you need to remember that you're not responsible for someone else's happiness, and it's not okay for her to use guilt and manipulation to control your actions. So how can you regain your independence and put a stop to the manipulation? First, learn to recognize when you're being manipulated. Pay attention to how you feel in certain situations and identify any patterns where you might be giving in to guilt or pressure. Once you're aware of what's happening, stand your ground and assert your feelings and opinions. Don't let her manipulate your emotions to get her way. If necessary, seek support from friends, family, or a therapist to help you navigate the situation and rebuild your confidence. Keep in your mind, my brother, you deserve a relationship that's built on trust, respect, and genuine love. Not one where you're constantly being manipulated into submission. Finally, we've arrived at sign number five. She constantly criticizes and humiliates you. Constructive criticism is one thing, but when your girlfriend continually points out your flaws and weaknesses, it's a whole different ballgame. She might compare you to others unfavorably or make you feel inadequate in various aspects of your life. This kind of behavior is designed to undermine your confidence and self-esteem, making you more reliant on her for validation and support. Nobody's perfect and we all have areas where we can improve, but a loving partner should lift you up and encourage you to be the best version of yourself. If your girlfriend's criticism is making you feel small and unworthy, it's time to recognize that this behavior is not only hurtful, but also controlling. She's trying to keep you down so that you don't feel strong enough to stand up to her or leave the relationship. So how can you regain your independence and put an end to the constant criticism? First, remind yourself of your worth and the qualities that make you unique and valuable. Don't let her words define your self-image. Next, communicate your feelings with her. Let her know that her constant criticism is hurtful and unacceptable. Encourage her to express her concerns in a more positive and supportive way. If she's unwilling to change her behavior or continues to put you down, it may be time to reconsider the relationship and prioritize your mental and emotional well-being. Believe this, you deserve a partner who loves, respects, and supports you, not someone who constantly tears you down. It's crucial to remember that you deserve a healthy, loving, and supportive relationship where you can be your true self without fear of being controlled or manipulated. Recognizing these signs and taking action to protect your independence and self-worth is a critical step in standing up for yourself and creating a life that you're proud of. So, my fellow brother, if you find yourself in a relationship where these signs of control are present, it's time to take charge and reclaim your power. Have those tough conversations, set boundaries, and never be afraid to prioritize your own well-being. Remember, you are strong, capable, and deserving of love and respect. Don't settle for anything less, and always stand up for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who has to live your life and you deserve to live it on your own terms. Stay strong, and always remember that you have the power to shape your own destiny. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.